I'm continuing my reading, what I'm doing in the series, to read through the entire standard works of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. This consists of the Bible, the Book of Mormon, the Doctrine and Covenants, and the Pearl of Great Price. I'm reading in a chronological order of events, not according to publication or volume, so I will be skipping around a little bit as I move along. Right now I'm reading the first few chapters in the book of uh, the first book of Chronicles, because it is primarily just a list of names and it takes us through the genealogies of various families from Adam. Uh, I will read through to the uh, reign of King David. But the chapters do jump around quite a bit. And so we're going to read through, I think, chapter 8. That brings us down to the reign of King Saul. Up to that point is really just a list of names. Then we get, uh, once we get into the reign of King Saul, which starts with chapter 9, then we get some actual history, a historical narrative. And so I'm going to bring us down to that point because the book, I will be then be going back to the book of Judges, and uh, which will bring us down to the time of the reign of King Saul. So that's how I'm doing this. This is uh, 1 Chronicles chapter 3. David's sons are named. Successors of Solomon to Jeconiah and beyond are listed. Now these were the sons of David, which were born unto him in Hebron, the firstborn Am uh, Amnon of Ahinoam the Jezreelitess, the second Daniel of Abigail the Carmelitess, the third Absalom, the son of Maacah, the daughter of Talmai, king of Geshur, the fourth Adonijah, the son of H Haggith, the fifth Shephatiah of Abital, the sixth Ithream of Egla, his wife. These six were born unto him in Hebron, and there he reigned seven years and six months. And in Jerusalem he reigned thirty and three years. And these were born unto him in Jerusalem, Shemiah and Shobab and Nathan and Solomon, four of, Bath of Bathshua, the daughter of Amiel, Ibhar also, and Elishema and Eliphelet and Eliphalet, and Noga, and Nepheg, and Japhia, and Elishema, and Eliada, Eliad, and Eliphalet, nine. Well, according to this, he had two sons named Eliphalet, and two sons named uh, Elishema. Verse nine, here we go. These were all the sons of David, beside the sons of the concubines, and Tamar their sister. So there you go. That's the, that's his family. They don't list the sons of the concubines because they would not have been in the line to inherit. Verse ten, and Solomon's son was Rehoboam, Abiah his son, Asa his son, Jehoshaphat his son, Joram his son, Ahaziah his son, Joash his son, Amaziah his son, Azariah his son, Jotham his son, Ahaz his son, Hezekiah his son, Manasseh his son. Ammon his son, Josiah his son, and the sons of Josiah were the, were the firstborn, Jehonan, Johanan, the second, Jehoiakim, the third, Zedekiah, the fourth, Shalom, and the sons of Jehoiakim, uh, Jeconiah his son, Zedekiah his son, and the sons of Jeconiah, Asher, Salathiel his son, Melchiram uh, also, and Pedaiah. Badea, and Shenazer, Jechemiah, Hoshima, and Nebe, Nedabiah. And the sons of Padiah were Zerubbabel and Shemai, and the sons of Zerubbabel, Meshulam, and Hananiah, and Shaloth, Shalomith, Shalomith, their sister, and Heshuba, and Ohel, and Ohel, and Berechiah, and Hasadiah, Jushab, Jushab Hesed, five, and the sons of Hananiah, Pelatiah, and Josiah, the sons of, Rephi, of Rephiah, the sons of Arnan, the sons of Obadiah, the sons of Shechaniah, and the sons of Shechaniah, Shemiah, uh, Shemiah, and the sons of Shemiah, Hattush, and uh, Igil, and Beriah, and Neariah, and Shaphat, six, and the sons of Neariah, Elioene, 
Inaya. Elio Inaya. Inaya. Elio Inaya. And Hezekiah and Azrakam three. And the sons of Elio Inaya. Inaya. Elio Inaya. Elio Inaya. Were Hodiah and Elishaba. Elishab. And Peliah. And Akab and Johanan, and Deliah, and Anani Anna, seven. Wow. Now that was a list of names. Those were some good names, I tell you. They had some good names in the Old Testament. But we're just going to leave it here because it's really just a list of names listing the families of the son of the descendants of David, primarily the descendants of Solomon because that is the royal line. So, and that's it. Just a pile of names, and we'll have fun with the next one.